On the next episode of Profits Resurrection Land Cruisers TV. So this is my ride home for the day. Uh, test driving it, even though this is like maybe one too many test drives because it's so much fun. A little bit unique 80 series. It's not a restoration, so you're not going to see it as a feature, but it's definitely worth checking out. So look at this. So the kind of first unique thing, we've got some retrofit rock slide engineering fold down step sliders, which is pretty cool. They don't make these for an 80 series, uh, but, uh, but we were able to get them to work anyway. But that's not what this is all about. This is a Cummins R2.8 powered 80 series. It's the third one we've done. First one with the eight HP automatic, eight speed automatic, which is pretty cool. And this thing performs. So I'm gonna show it to you and then we're gonna take it on the road and, you know, have some fun. Cummins fits in these so nice. Almost looks like OEM belongs in there. We use the original air cleaner assembly. It gives it a nice OEM look that I like. It's got a mechanical fan to keep this engine cool. Great big radiator and intercooler, of course. This is a kind of built 80 series, right? It's got uh, roof rack, bumpers, lip. And so you'd think that this little engine won't motivate it, but it actually does really, really well, which you'll see in a little bit when I'm driving home. I want to show you the inside too. So you can see what we've had to do here in the center console area for the transmission. A lot of people don't like this rotary shifter and I honestly, I didn't like it in the first place either. The alternative is not much better. It's a big helicopter joystick looking thing. So if it has to look modern, it better not be too obtrusive, right? So the other shifter is just too big. So the rotary shifter, got the Murphy gauge here, um, just built the center of the center console again because we actually had to move the a four wheel drive high low shifter over a little bit and it's actually backwards uh, high is reverse and low is forwards which is different than an 80 series but you know pretty cool looking interior integrates nicely the transmission performance is worth it though even if you don't like the rotary shifter so let's get this out on the road Here we go. That's fifth, right? We're not gonna be able to wind it all the way out. That's six there's sixth gear at sixty-five. Seventh gear. Maintaining, we'll never get eighth because obviously we're on a country road and that would be irresponsible. I'll do some video as I'm driving over the mountain passes. You'll see my camera go like that. Interesting story about this 80 series is this uh, was in California and Jonathan Ward had put an LS3 or an LS motor in this 80 series and uh, the owner didn't like it and so we pulled out a relatively new LS uh, GM Performance V8 and 6L80, or maybe it was a 4L70, it must have been a 4L70, out of this to put the Cummins in. Out goes the V8, in goes the diesel. And that engine's going back in another 80 series. Round and round they go, but I prefer the diesel. this kind of stuff all the time living in the mountains of Colorado and uh, this is why 80 series Land Cruisers make a lot of sense especially for winter travel of course on this rig we kept the 80 series uh, full-time four-wheel drive transfer case which makes it super sweet for these kind of conditions okay this is funny so speaking of full-time four-wheel drive I saw this guy and he's like spinning and spinning and spinning just barely moving so I turned around and it, he probably took him 10 minutes to get from there to there and I pulled up and his front tires weren't spinning and I said hey man you're not in four-wheel drive he said oh really <laughs> so he put it in four-wheel drive now look how much better he's doing see full-time four-wheel drive man this just keeps getting better. I uh, left early today to drive home, mainly because I wanted to get the opportunity to video this car before it got dark. And then my wife called.
called and said she couldn't make it up the driveway. Oh, there she is right there. And uh, so we're gonna go see what kind of drift action we have going on up here. This is our driveway. There he goes up top. There he goes up top. in this 80 so we're just gonna keep it in high range and see what happens no that's not that big poof Woo. we made it through that one Drift number two coming up at the top of this hill. Oh, there isn't one. It's kind of filled in. Oh, yeah, there is. All right, this one's going to require a backup. That's kind of filled in there. Woo! Oh, Daddy's already stuck. That's not a good sign. <laughs> That's the big one that I'm worried about. Well, he's not stuck, but Daddy didn't make it through that one. There's low. Oh, <laughs> not a chance. Not a chance. All right, well, maybe I need to stop videoing and think about driving. Well, I guess I'm gonna walk to my buddy's house right there. Pick up my MJ60 that happens that I left there the other day, which is a good thing because I'm still like only halfway home. And that 60 will get down here. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I can rescue my wife and the Land Cruiser later with the tractor. Okay, so since we started this story, we might as well finish it, right? So this Land Cruiser is a lot of a friend of mine, and I bought it from him to use. I drove it down here the other day. Well, I don't know, it's been here about a month actually, but it's a Land Cruiser, so I'm sure. This baby's gonna start right up. You know, if you pump anchors are slower. Oh yeah. Oh baby. If you pump anchors are slower, it helps. Pumping really fast doesn't really do the same thing because the accelerator pump on the carburetor is on a spring. Okay. This Land Cruiser's running. That one is not stuck, but can't go through the drift. Now we'll go up and get the tractor. Woohoo! We made it. We made it to the house. All right, out of one red sled into another. Thanks for hanging in there with me on my drive home today. Started out with one mission and sort of wound up with another one, but it's a fun story to tell, right? Land Cruiser content, gotta love it. My wife made it, life is good. Cheers, you guys. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. More stuff like this, tons of fun. Next time on Prophet's Resurrection Land Cruiser TV.